There we go. I got it to work. Oh. Oh, it refused to start until you... Disabled screen, screen share. Screen share. Yeah. <laughs> you have the chat and alert box in the same scene. Oh, whoops. Give me... Thanks for... Thank you for reminding me. Sorry, I thought of it just as you were saying we were starting. Hey, uh... Welcome. We're here doing a game of Jax, because uh, Jack and Daxter kind of fell through, sadly. Yeah, so this is, uh... This game is pretty good. It's called World of Horror. The, uh... It's a Junji Ito-inspired game of, of, uh... Fault of, uh... Emigawa... The Enigma of Emigawa Fault, uh... Gyo, and, uh... Most famously, Uzumaki. It's that in Lovecraft. It's a it's a fun game. I, I enjoy I enjoy it. Uh, and I, I'm here to show this off to you because uh, a Jack and Daxter fell through, and it was like, well, it was kind of creepy pasta ish. Can you see the cursor? Uh, yes. Okay, good. All right. So this is this is a nice uh, one bit. Uh, style of, uh, of graphics. Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? Yeah, you want to see some of the customization options? This is gray. This is white. It's brown. It's green. It's gray. It's, uh, brown again. It's blue. It's... Rocking the, uh, TI calculator graphics. Yeah, this is, uh, based off of, like, old, uh, Japanese computers. Uh, Let's do this one. 2-bit, because I, I like it pretty. It's stream good. Well, it's it's not Jack and Daxter, but we got we got this going. We got Junji this. Ito is the, like, this hole was made for me guy, right? Yeah, that's the guy. Like, famously body horror. Yeah, so we'll do uh, extracurricular activity. I keep, I keep looking at the screen screen. I should, the stream screen. I shouldn't do that, because that's like 20 seconds later. Yeah. You want to read it? I, it's too small for me. I can't. Oh, read it. really? You can you can zoom in the the, the stream. I have can... it full screen. It's across the room from me. Oh, oh, I'll read it. City of Shokokawa, Japan, 1980s. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the Earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Mori, 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 oh. <laughs> Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in the realms beyond. Okay. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. This went from zero to sixty very quickly. Yeah. Kashath Sorasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blind, blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. You can't escape from combat encounters. Okay. All right. So this is our character. Uh, if I remember correctly, her name is. What's her is name? She like a detective. She is a uh, high school girl, uh, sw captain well, of the of swim team. She is. Captain of the swim team. There's plenty of other characters. There's like. Uh... So our mailbox is empty. All right. So we're not currently investigating any weird mysteries. We should change that soon. So this game is a is an RPG, but uh, it's also kind of a text adventure. Yeah, like a so, point and click kind of. Yeah, but there's com there is combat in this game, and there's uh, choices you can make randomly generated. Looking good. All right, so this is our regular outfit, swim team captain outfit. We also have gym clothes, uh, teacher's pet, and Sakhalin. Okay. Which one do you, that means? You, uh, which let's do let's do this one. Go for it. This is our this is our detectiving uh, outfit. Uh, what what was the what was the the visor's name? Lisa. Lisa Yadamaru. Yeah. Yeah. This we're playing as Lisa Yadamaru. I don't actually remember this girl's name, but it's fine. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. 
You mark down okay, five of later, them, Charles. hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Alright, so, five mysteries we can choose from. Crimson, a chilling chronicle of a crimson cape. Alarming account of abnormal arms. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. Rotten report of a rancid ramen. And macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. Which one strikes you? We gotta find out what's wrong with the ramen. That sounds important. That could All hurt right. somebody. Alright, let's do it. Uh, check your chat box. It's bleeding off the bottom of the screen. Ah, shit. Alright, I'm on it. Oh shit, you're right! What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I fixed it. I think it's... There we go. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant appears in town! It's in it's in adored by everyone! Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. So Ito does mostly short stories. He does he does long-form stuff, too. Um, he's known for, like, having really disturbing body horror. Yeah. Alright. The ramen is people! <laughs> that, I think that, that could be the twist. Uh, watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. Shaggy and Scoob would eat it anyway. Yeah. Food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Well, let's investigate the apartment. So it circles where we have to investigate first. Uh, so we uh, so I, so we got to go there and investigate. Oh, so rug uh, disconnected. Oh no! Did you get gotten, Zellrog? I can't hear you. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. It it says your video's connected, but not your... Uh, I can't hear you. Give me a sec. Can you hear me? How about now? Uh, hello? <laughs> this is so fucking... Getting amusing. Can you hear him? <laughs> oh, oh, shit, I had it! <laughs> Discord being funny today. Discord is being being hilarious. Alright. Alright, we're good. We're back on track. Yep. When you stop ho by home to pick up your lunch, you, know, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Do we read the letters or check them later? Uh, I, I guess it'd be good to check them now. Yeah, let's check read the letter. mail immediately and then recycle it. Luck check failure. Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. We lost two funds. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, electricity is expensive in Japan. Yeah. Alright. Uh, you can see the well, restaurant. What was in the things? We don't get to find out what's in the letters? That was one the letters. It was telling us that our electricity bill was, has gone up. Oh, okay. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. Well, that's, uh, that's certainly horrifying. Let's, uh, let's so check it out some more. So we just decided to investigate this, this rumor. Yeah, because this, this, this town local is... local townsfolk. Yep. Folk tale. Oh. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin is a ghastly pale yellow color. What happened to our friend? Did an elder god eat her? I think I think maybe she died choking on ramen. She okay. ate at the ramen restaurant and then she felt was found dead. Or he. School friend. The scene is so disturbing you struggle to look at it. Oh, but we may, we succeeded charisma check. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. Okay, she was possessed by madness. Yes, we gained five experience. The only true way to that invest- high school girl doesn't just drop dead, there's usually a story there. Yeah. It's just ramen- ramen godder. The ramen monster. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. Well, let's go to the restaurant. 
Oh. <laughs> but first, let's take a bath. Oh, she smokes. Okay. She's a smoking uh, high school girl. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, tired so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. So, do we take a cold bath or a hot bath? I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Come I on. I, she seems like she wants cold. I don't know why that would make her less tired. Your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath, and you can feel, feel cold coming on. It's two minus two stamina. Okay. We it doesn't work like that, but sure. <laughs> you, it seems you are not the only one wanting to try for yourself. You stand in line for hours. Your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're shunned. Oh. That's a shame. Well. Let's, uh, let's go. So, interrogating the ramen place... Yielded nothing. Yeah, we're outside the park. While walking through the park, you find the little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask her what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack not lying nearby. Do we take her home or let the cops handle it? I guess we should take her home, right? Yeah, let's take her home. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> plus 10 EXP minus two. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the Twilight Zone child. <laughs> Get her away from me! I can take it from here! Oh. So we lost two more stamina, I guess, because we had to walk her home. At least we got EXP. Yeah. Yes, whatever that does. 100 and we level up. We get new perks. Do we, do we punch harder then? The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Is that blood you smell? I don't want to get a place that smells like rot. Oh god, that's... but it must taste very... what the... Putting your hand in the hole... in that hole was a bad idea. Ex See, excuse me? When did we do that? I guess we were at near a wall, and then we're like, Oh man, this restaurant is fucked... ow! Seeing a, that big spider escape, you hope it wasn't poison, so we got an injury. Okay. You gonna uh, start transforming into a spider now? You gonna Franz Kefka? Hopefully it'll go away on its own. That's a good thing to do, hope. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go to the hospital to, uh... Don't, to... yeah. You, use that affordable Japanese medical care. We wait patiently in the reception area. So let's enter the doctor's office. Yeah, can you take care of this fight, please? Treatment, one funds. Very affordable. Oh, if we just card this, we'll get 20 experiment experience. All right. It's finally, oh, we're back to the ramen shop. Yeah, we had enough time to leave, go to the hospital, come back, and our place in line was intact. You, no, you know what? It, it emptied out. The lunch rush was over. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's investigate some more. The owner's grin widens. Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of twenty stones lined up in a row in the middle of the park. Oh, but we okay. can we can cast a spell, but we don't know any spells. Sort of random event. That's something we saw in the news. The Red Bull is pushed to your face so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. Oh, I guess it wasn't a... Well. Whatever. Okay, they all came in after us. Yeah. Stop right there! You hear a voice from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work! Ah! Hello. He's got them anime sparkle eyes. So we're eat we're just eating in a restaurant, and then suddenly an obsessed man comes from behind us to attack us. Oh. Okay. We gotta we got I gotta find a weapon. I guess no one else in the restaurant cares about this. They're too busy with their ramen. It's good ramen. Look for an improvised weapon, and at, and as I'm doing that, I'm gonna kick at him. So there's a lot of there's a lot of rolls, a lot of checks in this. <clears throat> yeah. Enemy roars in rage. Uh. What do we get? There's a lot on the screen. I'm glad you understand what you're clicking on. Yeah, I'm, I'm good at RPGs. So we picked up a branch. We found a stick lying in the middle of the ramen shop. That's nice. Yep. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this guy over the head with it. Miss. Hit. <clears throat> one more good hit. You really only get one emote for Twitch right now. Uh, we have the... Well, you have you have three emote slots available for the multiple stages of uh, subscriptions, but no one no one's gonna pay for a, more than a five dollar subscription. That'd be dumb. Yeah. Oh, uh, look. There's those, and there's the bit emotes. So uh, our character beat him, but we got like, I guess he clawed our face. We're kind of looking worse for wear. 
Okay. Alright, now let's eat the ramen. For the slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. You know, it's good that we were able to, uh... Oh, but we need to... Now we're going to go to the lab. Okay, we have a lab. Yeah. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, hesitate. What What should you send to Leverett? We just have the vial of ramen soup. A mere how daily... Does the, what? How does this high school swim girl have access to, like, preferential laboratory treatment? Uncle? Hey, uncle, okay. you think you could... A mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale, and in a shaky hand, she holds the analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. Well, I can't, couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. Oh, so we solved the mystery. Is drugs! Is drugs! A week later, in an official Police stand. and an official stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing, Nothing re remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. You'd like to believe that was the end of it, but snippets and newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening and its mysterious owner keeps showing up. You no longer you can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. So we got Well in. that's not paranormal. He's just going to the next town and selling drugs. <laughs> For what we know, but there was something odd about it. Uh, from what I understand with the bit emotes, Darian, the subscription ones are only as long as you are subscribed month to month, but the bit ones, once you've given that many bits to a channel, you have them forever. There's still hope, so Something this game has is a, something called a Doom Track, which uh, persists throughout investigations. And if the Doom Track hits 100%, then the Elder God comes and, uh, and wreaks havoc. Okay. Oh, why, why are we at 6 Doom? What raised it? So, doing any kind of action raises it by 1%, and uh, other actions can raise it by more, and, and solving a mystery lowers it. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around the downtown area. The police are hopeless. So, that sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What is a key doing here? Alright. Gonna take a bath. So taking a bath will allow us to restore stamina and, uh, and, uh, reason. And you gotta What's wanna keep- game? What? And uh, restoring, uh, if we hit zero stamina, we die. If we hit zero reason, we go insane. Oh, okay. Alright. There are two Wait, images on. for World of Horror on Rule 34. <laughs> Just thought you'd like to know that. I figured. Does one of them have a girl with an eye patch? Uh, no. One oh. of them is the main character, and one of them is Yaoi. Okay. Alright, we, we opened up our piggy bank to get extra funds. Thought you should know. Oh, what kind of a day is it today? Another day begins. All right, so the ramen mystery is done. So I guess we'll do. Uh, we can do. Uh... It's just this Japanese Scooby Doo girl. Yeah. Sco I want to investigate this. This is horrifying. Uh... Going to the violent vigil. Yeah. Let's go. It's not paranormal, it's just the KKK. You received a, an official looking letter. What does the law firm from Tokyo want f uh, from you? Regret to inform you of the passing of your of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. Send $500 now so that we can pay the processing fees to get the money to you. <laughs> There's an ad- rich Nigerian uncle. There's an address on the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? That's a good thing to say. Alright. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? Well, let's explore the mansion. Any of these plots could lead to a hentai. In the mirror... You catch, a, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus two. Plus two percent doom. Yeah. You look in the That's mirror. A lot of doom. Yeah. Take some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. 
All right. Hey, who are you? Ooh. What's up, dude? Uh, you know, must... you know this uncle dude too, Bruh. He's he a... looks like he should be on Japanese Jersey Shore. Scarred thug, muscular man is eyeing you to take a step towards him. Can't help but notice a deep scar going across his cheek. Old man's body is in the master bedroom. Go there if you want. Uh, sure. We're watching Baki, and there's a, a, a just a, a mook dude that they gave that surfer dude voice to. Uh, it's very strange. Oh, it's the art classroom. The art. This okay. this mansion has an art classroom, I guess. It's full of half finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. Runs one sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Do we check it out, the sculpture or the masks? Uh, is the Twitch safe to check out the sculpture? I don't know. Is this game okay on Twitch? I, I'm i pretty sure it is. People have streamed it on Twitch without any problem. Let's check out, let's see if the if the masks is there. Let's see if there's the Dio mask. One of the, one, of, one mask looks similar to a design you once saw in an occult book. You decided to take it with you. So we got an item. Hold on, let's see. Let's equip it. Plus one damage against human enemies. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it's just a clown. It's Sweet Tooth. Yeah, we're... Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand uncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe the guests will know... Other guests will know. There's an order? Yeah, I guess so. We, we are now officially a juggalo. <laughs> Oh, not him. Young woman wrinkles her nose when she notices you. You can see- you can swear you've seen that symbol engraved on her necklace before. That's Edna not- Mode. Akane, young Harris. Let's not pretend like we want to be here. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, uh, oh, we found that's, a- That's about- that's about on par for Akane. Hold on, we found a pamphlet. We would like to- We would like to thank you on behalf of our client for participating in this vigil on such short notice. He was a spiritual person and left instructions. We are and left instructions. We are asking you to follow closely. So, 9 p.m. is the start of the vigil. 10 p.m. we pray over the body. Bow, 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 clap. Very important. Then we have that a, right. Then we have a modest supper. Then at then at midnight we clap, 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 clap. Then we clap, 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 then slap, slap, slap. 2 a.m. we feed the plant in the study with blood. Then we okay. cover the mirror in the storage room, and then by five, the vigil's over. <laughs> Even in olden times, uh, no, 11 p.m., okay. This is overnight. Yeah. So, so we're staying up all night to do this shit. Hello, okay. Daleks, Dick. Welcome to the stream. Okay, uh... So it's 10 p.m., I guess we gotta... We gotta pray over the body since it's 10 no, right no now. No one cares that we're wearing this mask. It is not affecting anyone's in interactions with us. Alright, so, uh... So it was... Oh, it's still 9? It says it's 9pm, what the fuck? What time is it now? Oh, no, it says 10pm! Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna do it. It's, uh... Bow, 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 clap. You think you got the order right? That's good to know. Wait, what's what's on his foot? Oh, mighty corpse! So this was on the this was located on the uh, pamphlet. Was on his toe was this symbol? Okay. That could be important. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, inspect the uh, let's inspect some more. It's now 10 p.m. Our next thing is at 11 p.m. Right. You wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. You scare away the annoyed predator and rip the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Who's oh sanity? no! Lost sanity. Hey, we found oh, a we nice took ring. The finger, though. <laughs> we found a nice ring. So we can either use it to gain two two cash or equip it to gain some charisma. I don't know what's more, what's more important. Let's get some. Here we we're wearing a nice ring and. We got a mask on, we have a nice ring, and we hit, we're wielding a stick. Hmm. The mask says no, but the ring looks lovely. Yeah, don't don't worry about me, I just like to party. All family members are cautiously... Are cautiously I... <laughs> this game... Uh, keep in cautiously mind this... eyes the smelly dishes. 
sit on a table. They seem, the guests seem strangely unrest in this vigil. Alright, so it's uh, 11 but p.m. right now. it's so right fascinating. Now. How can they not be interested? So it's 11 p.m. right now, which means that there's a modest supper. Let's check it out. The strength chip check passed. The smell is not as eating, but you put some meat on your plate. Long pig Just steak. Item. Long pig steak. Oh no. Uh, ham? Ham. Yeah, sure. Ham. That's Adds new status. Uh, do we? Do you want to eat? Food poisoned? Do you want to eat it, or do you want to just leave it alone? Well, if it smells nauseating, probably <laughs> not eat it. All right. Cool. Let's uh, let's leave it. Maybe we might be able to sell it. Actually, yeah, we can sell it for for some cash. Let's do that. We don't need stamina. All right. So it's eleven. It's still eleven p.m. Let's check out the. So we can found the storage room. Uh, why would I have a? Why would I want a ham? I have a nice finger to eat. Let's explore. Yeah, yeah. Why would we want long ham? The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. We're taking a bath in some strange mansion. Oh wait, hold on. Needs hot bath perk. We leveled up. Uh, so we can do outdoorsman, which increases our luck by one. Quick thinking, which can increase our dexterity by one. Or leadership, which increases your charisma by one. Uh, I don't know. We we we've lost some luck rolls so far. Let's do, okay, luck. And then I'm just along for the ride, really. Yeah, and then we can increase one of our stats by plus one or plus four. Let's uh, let's increase perception or no, strength. Cool. <coughs> So, do we take a bath, or do we not have a time for it? Uh, what does the bath recover? Like, a reason? It could. We could take a bath. We don't know. This is just options. I know. It, it's kind of weird to take a bath in a, in a stranger's <laughs> house. Yeah, we don't have a time for bath. Uh, oh, cool. We have uh, more important things to do. Doom, find us three. We, we've, we've fended off Cthulhu by denying the temptation of a hot bath. <laughs> I I won't be succumbed to your to your invitingly hot bath. It's midnight. You should go and pray. <laughs> That's what I think. And when it hit midnight, I'm like, well, it's midnight. Time to start praying. Uh. Clap 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 clap. Applaud the dead. Um. The body's missing. Hmm. So, when we came here last, that was before the supper. Yeah, so we did the supper, and we came back. Where is everybody? Uh... You shudder, instantly recognizing the room from a newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man had hanged himself here. Why is a vigil held in a place like this? I think we fuck. Did we fuck up? It seems that's a, that's a good me me memory she's got. Someone's already removed all the furniture. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. <laughs> the music just... When you walk through the crowded space, someone quickly bumps into you. Wait! Oh, we found them! Are we getting robbed? They stole your water lit. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. Or is this a hallucination? You manage to find one of the guests. They are shaken but otherwise safe. You both decide to get the hell out of this place, but the door is gone. Must. Are you nervously scratching his scar? So we got it. So the body's missing, and there's nobody else here. All right, let's explore some more. You feel watched. Retreat. You retreat from the room. We lost sanity because we feel like corridors twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You think you can he hear the other guests somewhere, but should you risk your getting lost yourself? Well, I mean, we got no choice. But we didn't clap. Suddenly, a wall in front of you withers and falls apart, revealing a whole ridden monstrosity. Are any of them made for us? 
Oh, jeez. Oh, like, like a person. Yeah. I thought it was just like a flesh wall. <laughs> I mean, we got the clown mask. We're, maybe we're scarier. <laughs> maybe. It's a seriously injured old man. Old man with serious injuries. Well, time to beat him with a stick. Oh, I'm missing. Whole ridden, Whole thing. ridden thing suddenly stops. Just by standing nearby, you feel sick. All right. You've sustained a new injury. Holes. What? <laughs> we, we... Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, God, we've been cursed. By Naraku. Okay. Beat this... <laughs> Come on! We have to kill it to make the hole go away. By the way, our, our chance to hit is low. It's like 50%. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is that, what is that based on? Dexterity? Uh, I believe so. Maybe strength? Oh man. We are not doing so well. We're going, in, we're going crazy. That's oh. all the, op that's the only option we really have is continue trying to attack, right? Yeah. Do we unlock no, more we've, abilities we've, or something? There's more holes! Come on! Oh god. Two more turns and we go insane. We got him! But at what cost? Following a weak raven cry, you enter a dark room. Inside, you spot a figure hunched in the corner. You recognize the expensive clothes, but this... This can't possibly be a human. Don't look at me! Oh, it's Akane! Hello? She was transformed fight by... again? Yeah. Transformed by her greed. Alright. Alright. Get the stick. Is this like Earthbound? Can we pray? Doesn't really do anything. I think we can we can beat her. We have Where's Got her the stick. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more till the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Oh no! You can taste blood in your mouth? A voice That's in an M. As the slimy appendages get closer, do we sacrifice the guest? Or. So, it's like a big flesh thing, I guess? Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks like Hueco Mundo. We must sacrifice the guest. An unseen You're... force leaves your hands. You reach for the knife and stab the surprise guest. Let's conclude we the We lose sand from that? No? The price is paid! A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. The old mansion, nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo- a tat- You recognize a tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle! With a coarse okay. voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. Two die and two survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. You know police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth and do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Oh god, more holes are spreading on our body, we lose two stamina. Well, that had very little to do with the ramen story. This is a different story. We, we I know. And a vigil. There's something wrong with the tap water. It is black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope Demons! So we can't take a bath anymore to recover. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. There's a small key. Are we just not getting the key? We got the key, yeah, we got two keys, but we're not doing too hot. We got holes appearing on our body, the water's contaminated, there's riots in the city. Yeah, that seems like a bad thing to get early on, is holes. Holes, yeah. Uh... Let's see, can we... Oh, we can't go to town, we have to start a mystery. In order to... Well... Someone is standing in the shadow. Watching your door. Well, let's, uh... 
Let's go on a chilling chronicle of a crimson cape. Okay. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Aka Manto. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game. That only made it more popular. Aka Manto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Right, so... First, let's, uh, let's go to the hospital, see if we can fix the holes on our body. We have to, we have to talk to the, the magic status effect person. Modern medicine can't help here! <laughs> well, well, drat. We're fucked. The holes are gonna eat us alive. There's not shit we can do about it. Unless... Let's go to the let's go to the dog shop and shop for stuff. It's the oh it's it's the famous Shiba shop. <laughs> yes. That was a new that was a news story about a shop owner who just leaves his dog manning the stand. Yep. On that's him. System. All right, so I guess we're gonna heal the this way. It's okay, you can just sew them shut. So sew the holes shut. So. Together wrong. All right, so we're going to the investigate the school. Investigation explosion like this game. <laughs> I this isn't this isn't like brutal enough. It needs to be more creepy. Somebody who's it like, would just keep getting his hopes up. It would be a cock tease for him. Yeah, the investigation is starting to take a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus four doom. Actually, there is a way we can just uh, heal. We, if we go home, we can rest, and that'll increase our doom track, but it'll also restore our, our stamina and uh, reason. Yeah. So, do that a couple times. Cause we got we got a lot of doom to burn. Yeah. All right. Let's go downtown. You've reported to your principal, who promises to take care of it. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records of the city's library make mention of Akamanto. We've still got our trusty stick. The roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Oh no! There's we're in. Be a ghost. We're in the street. We don't look back, or else we'll be taken to hell. Lots of lots of JoJo references potential. Get lost. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you're up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Plus two doom. Well, at least we got out. Yeah. Gather gossip about the current mystery. Oh. How do we gather gossip? All the missing girls. There are missing girls now? So I'm gonna gather some gossip from some kids. Force. Force to help you. Hey, wow. Tame. You want to know the latest gossip? What's up with that mask? Also, your holes are coming out of your body. So instead of just asking, like, hey, you know the latest gossip? He's like, I need some gossip. Can you help me out? You can trust me, I'm wearing a clown mask. Have you heard about this latest computer program? You're not interesting. I keep hearing what wailing sound coming from the third stall in the girl's bathroom. Uh, that's nice. What about you? Oh. We can observe. Michi is taking his his pen apart, his. And putting it back together over and over. There's yeah, something. Yeah, it's off an Okama. About them. Okay. Yesterday, she told me she saw it again. Oh, that's nice. I should be going now. Someone, uh, someone photoshopped a picture of Sakurai so that he had like like long hair and looked like a girl. <laughs> and he was hot. He, I bet he was. All of the missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. What? You should know about that! Have you not been, like, going to swim meet, lady? So, so there are missing girls now. We'd only yeah. heard about the one boy who died. Now all the missing- now all the girls are missing. Maybe somebody saw the kidnapper stalking them? Well, let's check out the school pool area. Hello. Getting, you getting, don't look suspicious. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. 
If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. We should talk to her. Hey, we're quite charismatic enough! <laughs> hey, if I like you! Unannounced Surprise infection? Thanks for telling me! While the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, you copy names and addresses from the database. One of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed a life-saving surgery on a victim of brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital can share some information? Okay, back to the hospital! By the way, can you fix my holes? <laughs> Modern medicine can't help you. Meet with your friend, who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital, watching the sunset. That would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Do we ask about him, or do we not ruin the calm moment? I should probably ask about him, right? Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and a strange infection are helpful, helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place, gain experience, but lose some reason. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not only bad news, your friend didn't come to school today, and another body has supposedly been found. <laughs> I feel really bad uh, for our main heroine here, just everything's just falling apart for her. Well, apparently the sky's opening and Cthulhu is confirmed to be coming, so all this shit is kind of a moot point, you'd think. You'd think society would be freaking out more. This is Japan, everybody's like, not wanting to... This is the same country that when the sarin gas attacks happened, everybody still took the subway. Yeah. This is the plot of an anime. Like, yeah. this is normal. This is fine. This you find an old- kaiju attack. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly ba valuable. Do we check the plaques and trophies or break the window to grab it? We're in the school, right? Yeah, we're in the school. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. It, it's just because it's valuable doesn't mean we should steal it from the school, right? So we just check the plaques and trophies then? Probably. What check failure? You find a small trophy with a curious prac. Grand champion of the cannibal eating contest, 1956, lose to sanity. So what, you're eating cannibals. Cannibal so that's good, right? You're getting rid of them. <laughs> gotta, we gotta become a cannibal to get rid of the cannibals. What you don't know is that last year's winners are next year's meal. <laughs> Principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. Oh. That's probably a good idea. People Prob dying. Yeah. Well, let's go downtown. Where all the rioters are. The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you have a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? <laughs> do we do we ride it's on a the light day in Japan? <laughs> do we do we ride the subway or do we walk? Uh I, I guess we should walk, right? Takes precious time, we loot we gain one to Doom Track. Yeah. You break the wit you break the window and get inside the school unnoticed! <laughs> we walk to the school. The, the cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there. This girl's taking things into her own hands. Yeah. Like really far. Well, let's investigate. Feeling like you are on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. He looks like one of the dudes in Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, like the it's... professional hacker. Yeah, Grant Fisher. Yeah. Or... Hey, hey, kiddo. kiddo says, says the priest. The priest. Could you lend Currently me a moving hand? Some boxes in and out of the church building. So do we lift the heaviest box or not overwork ourselves? No, don't throw out your back when you're young. That's a bad idea. You only pick up the t smallest boxes, but the whole thing takes more time than you expected. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you for a cup of hot tea and home-baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all of your doubts and anxiety. Oh, hey! We gained sanity back! Why, why does every reasonable response result in doom? Because it takes precious time. This nah. is, the cult is summoning it! It's on the verge! We have no time to worry about this! There's no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. Yeah. What what eat what they said. Let's investigate the cursed toilet. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish squeak. 
The sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping on the tiles. Squish, squeak. You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. A man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from the outside. Tell me. The voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like the... Would you like the red paper? Or blue paper? Fault emerges like a faulty radio. Okay. Ignore me! Ignore me! So do this we take- This doesn't sound like it would be a successful horror movie character. Do we take the red paper or the blue paper? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Does, Does it matter? <laughs> I don't know. The blue, the blue, cause red is like blood, I don't- the man in the red coat grabs you by the neck and starts choking. You kick him and rush to the door. We lose five stamina. Okay. You hear a click coming from the door's direction. You're locked in here with this crazy man. Oh, we gained a level. Oh. Folklore studies. Uh. Which gives us plus one knowledge. Arts knowledge gives us uh, plus one perception or... Discipline. Regain plus one stamina for all past event skill checks. Oh, I'll do that one. And then... We've lost a lot of stamina. Yeah. And then we'll increase our perception. And, uh... So we're fighting Akamanto now. We don't look any less creepy than this guy right now, by the way. Yeah. Well, we're trying to out-creepy out, uh, out him. Yeah. All to right. defeat the horror, you must become the horror. Now let's beat him with a stick. Oh, whoops! I only clicked it once. Oh, shit. Come on! Oh, I keep missing. So this is like a timing thing? Yeah, it, it, you can have as much uh, up to 200 as you, uh... Because certain uh, actions cost certain points. You know? No, but I'll take your word for it. And we're gonna go insane next turn. That ain't good. We beat him, but alas... You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Blood flowing from wounds in Tall Man's red coat makes it look like the man was slowly melting. You You're... hear a cackling coming from behind the mask and faints, and when, and you, when wake you wake up, up, he's gone. Somehow, you know he will be back in another stall, another school, another city, continuing the horror. Well, that wasn't paranormal either. It was just a weirdo. Yeah, we found a crestfallen... We found a sad mask. Yeah. We lost some doom, but we're, like, very low sanity right now. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Is there any way to, like, conveniently restore sanity? Look how crazy she is. She's... We can't take a bath. The water's all fucked. Can we fix the water in any way? No, we, if only we bottled some beforehand. Well, let's, uh... Let's deal with the arms, and then we'll rest at home. I remember when it started. The woman next door is strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and apartment and the apartment remained vacant. And we go insane! Rip. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped, and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane, that no old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the, but the drugs, drugs have haven't... made these horrors disappear. Yep. Perished. Reason lost. Cultist level. And, uh, yep. I mean, we, we don't know that she wasn't just crazy. We don't know. Let's do one more, and then, uh, and then we'll call it. I want to see... Like... This is, like, to some degree, randomly generated, right? Yeah, it's a randomly generated, but you can customize it, so we'll do it this time. We'll go to the, the playthrough customization to show it off. Hello. Hello. Are you my love interest? Yep. Uh, not, well, no, but... Alright, so that's good. This is our seed set, but... You cabs is our seed. We've done, we've seen this before. So is it a new, like, generated character every time? No, so there's five characters you can go through. This is, uh, Kiri Minami. Uh, 
Could the ghosts following her be in any way connected with all the weird events happening in this town? Okay. She's so better... she's the cool Bara. She's the knowledge one. She's the knowledgeable one. And she starts with magic. Oh, yeah. uh, well, this magic exists. Aiko's the captain of the swim team. So she is the transfer student. Yeah. This is the uh, swimming team captain, Aiko... Aiko Tanaha Takahashi. That's who she is. Okay. Barely surviving after a ghost of a drowned man kept her underwater, she's determined to solve the mystery. <laughs> Haru. Robbing that old abandoned manor was a mistake. With his friends dead and mutilated and a vengeful horror chasing him, no speed is too high. So he's the Yakuza dude. Okay. Yeah. Mizuki. Teen Idol. Important class. What a strange world we live in where... Stopping an ancient evil is the easiest way of boosting your career. She's the charismatic one, but not strength, and she starts with a random ally. And then finally we have... Koiji. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. The government will sweep this one out of the rug. So he's the... he's the... the sleuth. The photographer. Investigative reporter. Yeah. He starts with the camera. Okay. So, so who do you want to play as? I, I don't care. <laughs> Come on, you must care. Uh, I guess the idol, just because it sounds weird. Yeah, let's do the idol. Now you're getting into it. Let's make sure. Initiate. And then... Yep. So this... So we can choose one of four old gods. <laughs> This is the one we get to choose, the one that is being summoned? Yeah. Choose your god. Itothu, the devouring fire. Azusaloth, the towering eye. And... Giozo, the thing forsaken by god. <clears throat> okay, sure. Uh, th that one. Alright. Banished to the other dimension from a long time ago. Gyozo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey, its prey straight through the glass. Glimpses of horror look, lurking behind your reflection are just the beginning. So resting uh, at home raises doom. Okay. Alright. So that that is unique to whichever god is yeah. coming. Yep. A new ally. So we got Yuichi. This is Yuichi! <laughs> Salary man! Hiroshi. He's... <laughs> Literally a salary man. Let I'd... go. Double available funds. Yeah. Is it me or just did suddenly get colder? So, let go means we dismiss him. So why is he our? He's just like a friend. He's our favorite fanboy. Yeah. So you're let's... my you're my best groupie. So if we double him, we'll get ten funds, which means that we'll be rich basically. Double, double him. Double available funds if we just let him go. Like let him leave. Yeah. You're free now, Yuichi. I got, this is something I must do alone. I must investigate the doom alone. Okay. Yep, ten funds. Alright, mailbox is empty. Alright, let's see. What uh, what available clothing options do we have? Aspiring Idol. The Collection. Yes, no. Okay, College Uniform. And Rebel Outfit. They're very rebellious, them blazers. I wanna, I wanna aspiring idol because it's just hilarious. Just oh, by the mega mercs, <laughs> mega milk. <laughs> this game. Well, that's an R, but it's a nice day outside. All right. What uh, what horror will we find today? We have alarming account of abnormal arms, the Virgil one again. Uh, horrible history of household hell. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels and the ramen one again. Let's do a... So there are a finite number of these in the game and we just get a random selection of yep. five. Yep, yep. Uh, I guess let's go to hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Oh Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four, uh, by a family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it the only tragic event that took place there? Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shade some light on it. Alright. 
deal with Gaze of the Librarian. Many of the books you can find here were donated after the accident at a university building. So we can study old tomes to get a spell at the cost of doom, or we can make notes to get some EXP at the cost of doom. Do we have any spells? No. Would it be let's, good to have another one? Let's learn some magic! Seems like a good idea. Interpreting the old, incomplete translations is a tedious task. Finally, you get a fragment of what you were looking for. Alright. Japanese Mem English Dictionary. Memory Extract. Costs okay. two regions. Re so it's healing. We can... We can gain two can reason. By removing a painful memory. Yeah. But it costs ten EXP. That's actually a good spell to have. We get reason healing. Yeah. We can just... <laughs> that's how she'll be able to keep her bright chipper attitude. She'll just forcibly psychic surgery the painful memories out. So what damage were we taking in the actual fights? Uh, one to two. Uh... Oh. Reason? Yeah, and and uh, damage. It'll show uh, uh, around here during combat. So there is a physical damage stat. Yeah, that's stamina. Stamina is our physical damage. Reasons are mental damage. Ah. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is opened on its own. Do we close the door or escape the bathroom? Uh. Do we... I, I guess we should leave, right? Uh, Is this something we're investigating? You might be paranoid, but there's no way you're risking an encounter with a ghost here. Two reason. Oh, that's that's horrifying. We should we should forget this ever happened. Oh, we don't have enough e EXP. Oh well. Yeah. The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. Copy the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepare to leave. Oh hey, we got a quest. We should do that quest. Travel to seaside and investigate it a couple times. Okay. Uh. The waves lazily wash on the shore. You take a deep breath. The fresh sea air clears your head. We gained, we gained the reason. Awesome. We didn't even need to spend experience on that. Yeah. Let's do that again. Oh. Uh, we're starting to miss obvious leads. You've learned the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You decided to rent some books that might help you. All right. We're gonna go down there. It's gonna transition into Spelunky. An article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo. They were exploring and mapping weird cave formations found in the cliffs. Search of the missing team of scientists continues. The only clue so far is code written on the cavern wall. 437 hertz. Okay, that's good. What about this Very one? Very specific frequency. That's one. the ghost frequency. The ghost frequency. That's that, that's the one that'll... You gotta have something vibrating at exactly that hurts to see the ghost. A sword. That, that's how you can cut a ghost in half, is if a sword's vibrating like that. One house, found the ghost frequency. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel. It's the natural concert hall, he claims! Oh. I think, I think I know what happened. He pissed off the ghost with rock music? Yeah. Hey! Dog well, gang, I think that's another mystery solved. Hey, we need we need some items. Let's get we get a steak knife. Okay. If well, if we can't fight with magic, that seems like a good thing to have. Yeah. Did we not own one? No, we had to buy one from Dogman. What did we use at home? And uh, while we're at it, let's get a flashlight. Probably good for a cave. Yeah. So we got a flashlight and a steak knife. We are all set to go adventuring. This pop idol is gonna go spelunking. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. I forget what game it was. There was like a little indie game Vinny played where the way to fend off ghosts was to give them the finger. <laughs> oh, you, you're talking about Faith, and that was a cross. No. Oh, no? No, there was a different game where it was you had to give them the finger. It was first person. <laughs> fuck you, ghosts! Oh, like, Shadow, just like, fuck you, trolls. I think it was stronger if you gave them two at once. <laughs> like everything. Oh, the man. The roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping oh, we're, you in this we're trapped in that. We're trapped in the Morio ghost street again. And Morio's weird. Comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally find the one. There's only one problem. You'll need a strong rope to enter the mansion through the high windows. Well, I guess we're going back to the seaside. 
Suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. We must brace ourselves. Hey, strength check succeeded. Sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. You leave the beach quickly. So just a sudden chill in the seaside. Okay. Make it through the window. This is the abandoned mansion. Your friends have talked about it. Let's explore Wait, we, it! we just found a rope? Yeah. Okay. We found a rope as we were looking. That's where the cold wind hit while we were trying to find a rope. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But it's just a legend, right? I guess this is in the mansion is that there was a seamstress here. So do we okay. rifle through the cupboard or check out the sewing machine? I, I, I guess sewing machine is related to seamstressdom. Alright. I found you at last! And reason loss? No. We just confirmed uh, it was real. She she okay. took that with stride. Look at her. She's like, <laughs> seamstress Unaffected. ghost. Unaffected. However, a door swinging open in the bathroom. Ah! I don't want to. I don't want to be molested by some ghosts. You heard a weird noise coming from the locked study. You must find a key. All right. So now we can explore different parts of the mansion. Uh, can we go to the asylum and take the two keys from the other girl? <laughs> that was a different t continuity. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the. The neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Oh no! The mansion's getting dangerous! You enter the art class- Oh! There's an art classroom- We're in the same mansion's art classroom, so... Do you want to check okay. out- Do you want to get the mask again, or do you want to actually check out the sculpture? Uh... I mean, well, the someone in chat spoiled it. The sculpture's bad, so we should probably get the mask. Alright. Oh, we got a the helmet! <laughs> Great. Well, at least it's not the clown mask again. Small chance of ignoring stamina loss in combat. That's good. We're now a pop idol with a kendo helmet, a steak knife, and a flashlight. <laughs> oh, I forgot to equip the flashlight. Oh, I can't. I can. I can't equip the kendo helmet and the flashlight at the same time. Well, why? <laughs> Tie it on top. Just with a little piece of I want to see this weird, like, Orihime pop idol with her strange solutions to problems. <laughs> Me, I don't understand. Is the kendo helmet double as a fucking... <laughs> well, a kendo sword is a two-handed weapon. You can't have the helmet without the sword. This must be the place where the key is. Okay. Uh, I'm still searching. When you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you. Wait a minute. Oh no! A ghost stole my money! Only two bucks. Two funds. Okay. Maybe it's over here. That's a convenient way to avoid localization. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Oh, we found the Ogma Infinium! I was, I was gonna say the Bible black. <laughs> so do we take it, read it, or burn it? <laughs> I'm gonna guess reading it is probably a, a like, sand loss? But Maybe, it, I, I kinda wanna read it. Uh, fuck it, let's read it. Maybe there's a useful spell inside. You uncover some of the secrets of the sleeping god, Ted Experience. Yeah, that's cause we but knew... It would have to be very well cured human flesh, otherwise it'd be a terrible material to bound, bind a book with. Indeed. Alright, searching for the key. You know, cow flesh is much more effective. You aren't sure what to expect. This sturdy door with this... The sturdy door to the study opens with a creak. The dark, dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps. You move the rotten carpet aside, aside, rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway out directly into the cliff rock. Let us make our way down. Thou knowest too much! <laughs> Great episode of Jackie Chan. We're gonna find, yeah, the cult from Jackie Chan Adventures. That's fine, we got a knife, we're protected. Following, Following a str his... strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you! The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerize. We step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Do we step closer? Do we explore some more? 
Uh, is, is that not exploring? Is checking out the altar? Uh... You follow a winding corridor until you stumble upon something really strange. Someone has set up a series of vintage-looking speakers connected to a single unit. The speakers must be the source of the sounds. Okay, we can change the frequency. So what was the frequency? The frequency was... 457? That may be it. We Fortunately, we have notes. 437. I wouldn't want to get the ghost frequency wrong. Cool. Alright, 437. What a bizarre specific setting for speakers to have. Acoustics of the underground caves make the waves in the machine tone create a ghastly melody, shaking you to the bone. As you move closer to the stone altar, you scream in terror. You're not the only one charmed by the sounds. Combat! The dizzy, the cursed chance amplified by the cave system make you dizzy. You horror. You notice the sound is awakened. Something else. What the fuck is that? It's a kraken. Otaru. Okay. A terror. Uh. Someone trying to char charm a sea serpent. 88, 88 HP, 80 power, and its existence increases doom. So... I think we should fuck off. Probably, yeah. Are we just done? Uh... Almost tripping over the countless human bones, you decide to get to run from the cave. The haunting melody begins... continues to follow you as Otaro begins its, its reign of terror in the water surrounding Shiokawa. I'm a pop idol! The fuck you want me to do about this? <sighs> Unholy chance coming from the caves connected with the mansion must have driven the family insane. Awakening Ataru almost made you share their fate. You decide to run, afraid of the dire consequences. The inner coil always gets its victim, and the fisherman looks so tasty. Well, there's still hope, obviously. We got 30 EXP. We, we still have our maximum stamina and reason, so she left you. She's like, oh, that was weird. I'm fine, though. She's bothered by the bathroom door, and then nothing since then. <laughs> Alright. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. Must be the radio mask failure, so we're cut off from the outside world. Okay. Creepy. Alright, we got a key. We can still bathe. <laughs> we don't need to, though. Because uh, we're at maximum... Uh, I'm gonna put this on. Yes. No. You, like unlock outfits throughout the run. I think so. You just you can't get any signal from the outside world. What is happening? Is that a cigarette? Uh, I don't everybody know. Everybody smokes. Everybody smokes. Except they. Except for the people who don't. The ghost gray mist enwrapped the whole town. Alright! So last time we were going to investigate uh, the abnormal arms. We should do that again. Sure. I remember when it started. Yeah, we've seen this. We did? Yeah. When it what started. Because we started it before and then we went insane as we were investigating. The we door. Did? Yeah. The, so or refresh my memory. So the woman was uh, was found dead, and there was no sign of forced entry. Okay. All right. She was strangled. Yeah. The door to her apartment was closed, and she lived alone. Where? What are other way? What other ways in are there? Maybe you could get the apartment plan to compare with other flats. Let's investigate the hospital location. It's because this is what the quest is. So that's optional, but it'll allow you more information. Abnormal anatomy. Yeah. You're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that would moder revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you that he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign right here. I don't have any wounds, sir. You're thinking of the holes lady. <laughs> I, 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 I hear she's dead now. She just disappeared. All right, well. That does sound, in a little bit of a different light, Moroku's wind tunnel does sound like something that uh, Ito would have come up with. 
the yeah. hole in the hand that just grows and then swallows you. Um, that was done in Uzumaki. Yeah. Someone well, has Inuyasha been... did it first. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Assume the worst. <laughs> I love how that's the only option. Branded. Like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for their eldritch masters? It's the only conclusion. Ah. I like how... She does remind me of, uh... Orihime a little bit. Anatomical Museum Archive displays... A... A specimen with all elongated arms and jellified bones. Lose one sanity. Is that all we came here for? Yeah, it was just we solved the quest. We figured out we figured out that uh, that. Anyway, we don't. The door to her apartment was closed and she lived alone. What other ways in are there? Let's check that out. Oh. And then suddenly Moai statue. We can cast a spell without paying anything. Let us... Do we need a reason heal? We're at 20. Yeah. I don't even... <laughs> we forgot why we went to the hospital in the first place, but you know what? We feel so much better. Now right. she doesn't have to remember the scary noodle arms display that was put up there for legitimate scientific reasons. <laughs> Only non-paranormal shit scares her. <laughs> the apartment is on the third floor. There's no way somebody used the window to escape the murder scene. No way at all. It's gonna be a winged person. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, I think that's the same friend from the other quest. You yeah. discover a half-finished painting. Yep, yeah. you gotta struggle to. And yep, we're charismatic enough that we can just uh, ignore it. Fucking weird paintings, man. You notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts? They seem too small for anyone to crawl through, though. Not a full-sized person. Not a full-sized person. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Okay. <laughs> she's, That's she's, a vague curse. That's just paranoia. She's just paranoid. She, yeah. Easily frightened. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, shit. You should, uh... Is that what the curse is? It's an Orochimaru curse mark? Casting spells raises doom. <laughs> well, we weren't really using them before now anyway, but... That was arbitrary. You should interview the neighbors. <laughs> hey! It's me, your favorite teen idol! Don't worry about my weird-ass markings! I kind of like this this idea of a character who's not afraid of ghosts, but is afraid of, like, cockroaches or something. That's that's kind of funny. That's what this character is. This is what uh, Teen Idol, wh whatever her name is, is. <laughs> Wandering through... Hello, Rusty Knight. Welcome to the stream. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda inside, but you could really use a drink. So do we get a cheap one or an expensive one? Uh, how, how are our funds? We only we have got four. four. Yeah. I guess we should get the cheap one, right? Oh, we injured ourselves! <laughs> well, we probably didn't want anything out of that machine anyway. You buy a can of off-brand soda when you reach for it. Something inside the machine catches your hand. You have to jerk it out, injuring yourself. Pepsi Man! So we can we deal less damage in combat because of our torn muscle, so Oh that's not good. We should probably go to the I'm gonna go to the doctor. You can press Z to highlight clickable areas on the game screen. Oh that's cool. I didn't know about that. Hospital Why why was there a, a bra on our screen? I I don't know. Well it'll be there when we get back. We just need to It better be. So can you can Modern medicine can't help here. Well, I tore a muscle. Oh, we could deal with that. It's a major injury. Badly bruised, so we lose a strength until the end of the mystery. Because we're... So it was like like the muscle was downgraded to badly bruised? Yeah. So that'll go at the end of the mystery. One neighbor's complaining about her underwear missing. Oh. We should... We'll talk to her about it. 
It's... Th there's a fucking... One of the later characters in Ranma is, like, a, a, one of those Takahashi short people. Yeah. He's a little old martial arts master who, who's a, a Master Roshi pervert, just runs around stealing underwear. Oh, is he now I'm just picturing that him going through all the vents of these apartments. <laughs> <laughs> With elongated arms. Yeah. It, as you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. No, let's take a hot Everybody bath. Everybody smokes. Yeah, hot bath. Hot bath is so inviting, you spend an extra hour in it. Oh, that's fine. Complaining... Take a little extra doom. Complaining about... Second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Oh! So there's something in the vents. There's something in the vents. That likes underwear. <laughs> and... Eldritch... Wait, where are you getting long arms from? When you stop by, uh... When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of mails in the late... A pile of letters in, the, in your mailbox. Oh, do we? I guess we should check them, right? We should check them later. <laughs> what happened? What happened when we checked them last time? Uh, it was a bill. Oh, well, fuck that. Oh, place you checked it anyway. No, I placed the letters on the kitchen table, feeling an anxiety attack coming on. What okay. minus one stamina? Lost a little strength. Yeah. Let's check the building plan to see, find out if there's a place where all the vents connect. Sounds good, lady. Maybe it's the maybe it's the dude from uh, Spirited Away, Long Arms Eggman. Oh yeah, not wanting to ch wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing at the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. It's a spider. <laughs> Whoa, twisted corpse. Oh, it's a it's a ghost. We can't we can't stab a ghost. Uh. Well, we don't have any attack spells, do we? What can no. we do? We Just can run. We can clap and bow at it, oh. or we can leave an offering of something. Oh, we can't. We can sever their ties to the world with our steak knife. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> Oh no. We just have to vibrate our hand at the ghost frequency. <laughs> it's our uh, it's our wounds that allow us to uh How's our Oh, we can level up now. Parting uh... gift. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus to one of your stats. Plus one to charisma or occult signs. Small exp bonus for casting spell. I don't think that'll be useful considering that we're getting. We haven't used any spells. Also, we get, we now get doom, doom whenever we cast spells. We haven't gotten any uh, any new allies yet. We can we can recruit them. We got we got high charisma high enough charisma that we could potentially do it. So okay, well, what yeah. do you think? I'm gonna increase charisma and then we're gonna go and then let's go recruit some people. Every room is connected by the vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? Well, oh, that see. wasn't the, the main... That was just a random ghost hanging out. Yeah, it was just a random fuck ghost. We you need a lesser hollow, but now we gotta find Grant Fisher. You enter the dark boiler room and trip over pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch. And gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long, rubbery arm coiling around the room and coming... In a ventilation shaft, coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Hello? You almost, you almost fall to the ground when you see the the wide open stare of a dead pervert. His elongated limbs stretching and disappearing in vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. After the police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, detectives found the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos of the tenants. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of unfortunate gas leak. Yeah, go on. Do you think he did some, like, weird training to get those arms? He just stretches. He just or is, is this like... just Mr. Ma Mr. Fantastic as a pervert? He got stuck in a vent. I'm sure Mr. Fantastic would have gotten his way out. Boy, that's a way to go. I remember reading a short story about a, like a, a stalker who 
hid in a in a, a lady's mattress and died there. Oh yeah. I don't remember that must have been from something I was editing. I don't remember who wrote that. There's still hope. Well So at least we solved two of the five, and we are cursed. Uh oh, the store's closed! The friendly dog disappeared. Oh I'm, no! I'm getting the fuck out of here. At least, at least go to the Temi store. At least the water still works. We need, we need to restore our reason. We'll take a nice cold shower. Yeah. God, those tattoos. I like that. I like this fucking look. Just an idol who. She's gonna become like a, a metal idol now. Yeah. All right. So we got a key. We can unlock stuff now. Just any anything. Keys are universal. All right. Vig we, went, we did the vigil already. Yeah. There's one we haven't done. It's the bottom right, right? Yeah. Eerie episode of evolving eels. Are they evolving legs? Oh. Well, returning to your home, somebody. Well, returning to your home, somebody suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. Hey. I. What happened to your face? I don't want to talk about it. That weird dude is back, you know, the one who studies fish? Fish study? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. Oh, so... Hey, that's Kana. Saw a creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please? It's a mystery. I mean, you, you look normal. I don't. Can you not, like, ask him? Is, is he, like, sick of you? Are you the stalker? Are you a stalker? Lady? Do they ha does he have a restraining order? Oh, let's go. We have an ally. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. <laughs> oh, that's the that's so way. Hey, you want to go meet this fish person? Sir, this holy a woman comes out. Zero covered to in gore. 100. Between shops, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads back to her apartment. Do we calm her down or check the bathroom? Uh, I think that seems like a clue. A clue, gang! Now let's check. Failure. You don't find anything. The small blood makes you weak. Hmm. Just looks like an ordinary blood spewing spower shower spout to me. Her knowledge is only at a six. She's not as knowledgeable as she is charismatic. She's more perceptive than she is knowledgeable, though. She's a Sailor Moon. She's an Usagi. <laughs> Usagi if she was covered in- if her face was covered in, like, strange runes. It's metal Usagi. Dude's working at a school, right? We should- we could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? He must be empty just because he came back and his classes begin next week. Well, while we're here, let's see if we can recruit somebody else. Let's get some more high schoolers involved in this, uh, lethal nonsense. Yeah, it's Doi. Hey, Doi? Hey, Doi, you wanna come join us? If what you're saying is what true. You're... We, found, we have a student with us. And because we have a student, we have an increase in charisma. We're now way more, more... We have a posse. Look at, a, look at our fucking posse. Minus one damage received during combat. We can use her as a shield. Yeah, that's that's actually useful. Uh, all right, so let's actually do some investigating then, if we can yeah, leave. All right, let's investigate the school, gang. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old autonomy model. Its heart is beating. It makes us sick. I think minus one stamina, not sand. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protest, Kanda decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How could she s sip her soda so calmly staring at this creepy creature? Oh, hey. We should investigate the seaside location. It's telling us to. Maybe we'll get more information about what the, what the creature is. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe it's the spawn of the giant thing we ran from earlier. 
Something pulls you toward the beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hand shaking, you take a step closer. Do we take it home, or do we ignore it? Are we able to ignore it? Is that an option? It's blacked out. I want to... I want to take... Let's take it. It's gonna be like the, the Tiki Idol from the Brady Bunch. It's surprisingly heavier than it looks. As mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. The neighbor's office at school is yeah, yeah, yeah. We've we've done that before. Uh, okay, seriously, it's a bad idea. Oh no, are we fucked? You've and discovered Eldritch statuette. In the summer of 1971, a whole class trip fell to the sea. When a rock they were standing on collapsed, they didn't find the bodies. Until now. Pfft. It's the class of 1971! Oh, are we at the ocean again? Yeah, we, it's part of the side quest. So. Okay. I'm gonna stab this. Let's shank this dude. We're gonna sever their ties to the world of the living. Yep. And we're gonna be badass and look good while doing it. That's such an Orihime plot. Someone tells her, we need to sever their ties to the, the to the mortal world. Knife sever things! Well, we, we got them. They may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. You may be going, uh-oh, we're losing sanity. That's not good. We can recover sanity if it gets to that. All right, well, we can cast a spell that'll allow us to re restore sanity. Well, let's go check out the apartments. You find an envelope lying in on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope get in your bedroom? So we got some cash, but it's unnerving. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is this eel even alive? Alright. If we cast Memory Extract, how much... Minus 10 EXP. Yeah, but... Alright. The horror of the creatures we're fighting are gone now. Oh, it's taking its toll on us. Khan was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. It must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. So return to our apartment and, deci and decipher the notes. Also, the schoolgirl is just here. Yeah. All right. Uh, Are we still wearing the kendo helmet? No, we're, we just have a flashlight now. Legend, Legend from, from the, the blank prefecture. Eels tells of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Oh, that's lovely. Sounds sounds good. What happens if we sell this? Oh, we just, it's just one cash. All right. Well, let's go confront him. You've been selling shit. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Sound shouts the deep voice from the door behind the door. I know you're there. Do we get closer to the door and look, or do we call the cops? Uh. I think we should. How do you think they'll get here in time? Let's call the cops. I'm calling. Go for it. The man escapes when he hears the police siren, but before he does, he draws an unfamiliar symbol in blood on your front door. Doom. Doom! Kinda. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. Oh! That's nice. What is he hiding? I wish you could just throw this damn jar in the trash. Well, let's... This lady's obsessed. Yep. Kana is a force of nature, says chat. <laughs> There's these... Something gigantic and visible leaves your... Leaves a deep void in, this, in, your, in the sea. It's not moving... But you swear it's watching you. Oh, that's nice. Think about how stupid it is of Kana to try to break into your neighbor's apartment. You go to sleep. It's been an entire day waiting for Kana. Oh, Kana's gone! Rip. All we have left is our student friend. Doi. Hey, hey, Doi, get in there. You're up! Good thing we're together in this, right? <laughs> oh, hello. You're my friend. Well, I guess we're going to... I think their tattoos are cool. Yeah. They're pretty cool. 
You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months. But how could you? She died in an accident! Combat sequence. Stealth. Yep. Combat. Please, I don't want to do this to you. Don't make me beat the shit out of you. Sever the ties, Jack. I have to sever the ties that bind us. I'm sorry. I... Respect you? Well, I got her. The power of knife compels you. Kana has been missing since yesterday. You decided to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. That sounds like a good idea. Cautiously Lots of eels. Cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around relentlessly. Where the hell is Kana? All right, let's uh, let's check the bathroom. A swollen the swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside the murky water. Both his eyes are missing with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Oh, lovely. Well, that messed with her a little bit. Kana! Oh, she's alive. I I found the neighbor, but, but when his eye burst, I slipped in the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's now something in my own eye, too. We can, We must puncture her eye now. Kana! Okay. I can save you! This looks like a fun scene. Yes, sir! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Shocked, you see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. Will she even survive the blood loss? You rush to, the, rush hospital to the hospital with, with Kana, getting a lot of of attention from horrified people. Friend is immediately taken to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. You fall asleep. Hey, she's alright! Wake up, dude! You've been sleeping for over three hours! You groggily open your eyes to see your friend Connor. She's wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? Couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. Ah, cool! We saved her! will process the events of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay eggs and eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Alright. We uh we saved our friend. We should feel we should feel glad. The pop idol has been much more successful than the successful than the swim team captain. Well she's not she I mean her sanity is she's losing her sanity. Oh! So, uh, folklore studies, art knowledge, or fame. Faster combat actions for each ally you have. Yeah, that that sounds good. We're, we're famous. Cool. Yeah. That's uh, what a pop idol wants. Fame. She's in this for the fame. I'm in it for the fame. Baby. Uh-oh. Contaminated water. We can't heal in the bath anymore. How much XP do we have? Uh, Just used on spells. We have 20, so we can restore our reason. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. We're mostly sane now. Oh, hey, it's the Hello. statue! Hello. Just hanging out here. So all we have, uh... All we have left are two that we've done before. And last time, doing the vigil gave us holes. Yeah. Well, we fought a random encounter in there. Maybe that won't happen this time. Should we save that for last? Yeah, let's save that for last just in case. Let's uh, do the ramen quest again. And this time, we'll do the side quest and hopefully we'll get the better ending. Hey, new ramen stand! Hey, Idol, you want to go check it out and pimp out our new ramen stand? We can do a sponsorship deal. What makes this ramen so enticing? Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Oh, we got two items. That was an episode of Urase. Remember that one? Where every, a bunch of people, like, sponsored different restaurants, and it turned into a giant war? Oh, yeah, the war of restaurant sponsorship. So, discard one. Oh, I can't discard this one. Uh, important key. I can't. Fuck. We just threw something away for nothing. Can we... Did you throw away the kendo? 
Yeah, I threw away the Kindo helmet. Uh, I got an idea. Pharmacy. That's a cheap item. Empty bottle. Throw away. You sink into the alley at the dead of night, gagging. You look inside the restaurant waste. It's a vile pulp. A few chunks of meat look like promising samples. And so we found smelly meat. Disgusting. Smells horrible. Yep. All right. Let's so now, now do we use our just inherent lab connections that everyone has to investigate this meat? Well, we're a pop idol. It makes sense we'd have lab connections. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord, Lord and Savior? Savior? The voice of the, the Day of Reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other end of the line. Don't, you definitely don't like the way the man puts his, the other, puts, on the other side, puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? Listen or hang up. <laughs> it could be a good investigation for the cult, right? You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said was the truth, Humanity is doomed, so we lose some sanity, but the doom track is uh, lowered. That's useful. Don't see any of the cooks enter or leave. Yep. We're, you hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. Oh no! Oh, it's uh, the girl from the last one! Oh, she's she escaped. Asylum clown girl! Oh god, this is a tough battle too. Fortunately, we can strike five times now. Uh oh! We have a concussion! That's not good. Minus one to knowledge until end of the current mystery. You. you bitch. What was Wait. her weapon? It was a stick? It was a. yeah, but she upgraded to baseball bat, I guess. One more hit will do it. Wait, what's that? We found a base apartment stalker. We found a baseball bat. Damage up, speed lower, but an increased chance to hit. I'm gonna do this one. As long as we don't run into any ghosts. Oh, we don't have to. Hold on, we gotta resolve. That's okay, we can just beat the shit out of the ghosts. I like how she's still smiling, like, oh, it's okay, I'm okay. You gotta always smile as a pop idol. Like, she began this <laughs> mystery, right? As like, oh, this'll be fun, this'll increase my career, and then after uh, she's going in, she's like, we're doomed. Humanity is doomed. She is gonna be a metal pop idol, like, she's seen shit. Yeah. She's gonna, it's doom metal. <laughs> Alright, we gotta investigate the restaurant now. What? Hey, it's, uh, Mr. 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 Ooh. That's, that's Your Jun neighbor is a horror manga artist. Oh, it's Junji Ito. Hmm, say. He's struggling. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Should we share our experience or let him come up with his own stuff for... What's, what's that? What's that picture? It's a picture of her. You can't... Catch a glimpse of the painted thing. Suddenly you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grip. Oh, I'm sure that's fine. No, uh, nothing wrong here. <laughs> you fucked up, by the way, choosing that. I wanted to yeah. let you know. It's fine. We'll just, we'll just keep going. Speaking of, uh, Doom, I guess there's a live-action Doom Patrol now. Yeah, I, I saw that. The investigation- How do you address your weakened state? Uh, take a nap, jog around the block, or buy a coffee. Coffee. We have two funds. Sure. Yeah, get some coffee. Oh, it's a nice double pick frappe macchiato. Yeah. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and blood. Oh, oh, there's a cemetery. <laughs> this ramen shop in this continuity is near a cemetery. That's convenient. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge. Do we continue looking, run in terror, or confront the stranger? 
Uh, are we in a position for a fight? I think we're fine. Let's just... Hey! Charisma checks around and see who's behind you. Luckily, the other person is a kind old lady. He points you to the tombstone you're looking for. Under the stone, you find a note someone left for you. Oh, it's a dead drop. One ramen, please! We had time to go to a graveyard, come back, and keep our place in line this time. Yep. Maybe the ramen shop was in it. Suddenly, empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. you cover yourself from... from... Uh-oh. Alright! Every time, this ramen shop is... Someone busts in and wants your ass. Big dog eats my ass. What's, what's her name? It's just Masked Lady? Rioter. Oh. oh. Uh... We can dodge, which drastically lowers their, their their opportunity to hit. We can run away. We can brace for impact, which ignores incoming damage by hat. Mm. Maybe choosing the baseball bat was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Are we less less dodgy now? Well, we can. Well, actually, we can hit. We hit, can hit 100% of the time. Wait, hold on. Oh nope. Okay, this will work. Special attack? Strong attack. Ah. Yeah, this will totally work. <sighs> we found a prescription! Great. So we brained this lady in the head and then stole her drug prescription. Actually, if we stole her drug prescription, we can... We can get some... We can get some cool shit from it. Let's, uh, let's go to the hospital. Hey, I need some ID, ma'am. No, it's okay. I've got a prescription. Wait. Can we use the prescription here? There's an addictive trait for medicine. Oh, what? Prescription pills, the bottom one? I can use it, but... Oh, we don't have enough cash. Because we don't... We don't have... Aw, oh, darn. Oh! Okay. No, we didn't get it. Whoops. Man, it sucks being a starving idol. We squandered all our money. Seeing two chopped off heads! You can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. What?! Okay. Do we call Is that the... in the ramen shop? Call the cops, research occult notes, or do nothing. Uh, probably one of the first two, right? Let's, let's call the cops. Sounds like actually a good no. Idea. Let's let's research occult notes. We're in. Okay. Hey, we gained a spell. Uh, you managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. Uh, I don't know. Down to seven reason. Multiply wound. Deals damage to an enemy, which increases the lower your stamina is. Oh, that's good. So the the more hurt you are, the stronger it's flail. Yeah. Well. Here, I have a vial and some meat. Look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. Well, the standard test didn't detect anything weird. Adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Friend leaves you with the papers, muttering excuse. Preparing to flee on the next train. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. Preparing for Karakura Town's weird. Preparing for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no elder tour to duel. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining up where they remember the entrance. Investigating the wound, the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautioning. Let's cautiously look up at the chunk of meat, and it jumps back with, and then jump back with a yell as it flexes. It opens a weary eye, grins, and, and wanders off on stubby black black claws. You walk home shaken. In your head, you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up in the street. That's nice. I like how she was going to the place expecting a fight, and then they're just gone. There's an eldritch thing. I'm gonna go beat it up. <laughs> it's great. Uh, there's still hope, though. What's this? Roads at leading out of town are closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. They've locked the town down. 
Well, uh, still got one more mystery. We have eight reason, 61 doom, we seven can, stamina. We got this. Uh, I'm gonna cast, uh, I'm gonna increase our reason a little bit. Still got that statue. It's a nice statue. Look, it really ties the room together. Yeah. All right. Back to the Virgil. Hey, our great granduncle died. Wait a minute. I don't think I have a granduncle. Wow, that's weird. How do you think Dante and Virgil would get along with uh, Inuyasha and Sashomaru? <laughs> which one would get along with which? You think uh, Virgil think... would get along with Inuyasha? And... Uh, Vir Virgil's the full demon, isn't he? Yeah. No, they're both half demons. Oh, okay. It's just Virgil's the more serious of the two. Following the direction from the letter, you fight your way through the overgrown forest path. Old we... mansion looks all torn down. So I think we brought our friends with us. Oh, friends okay. are always with us. All right, let. Wow, this is weird, guys. It's like it's like girl Yu Yu Hakusho. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a brush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. We just. Lady, Lady Yusuke is dragging her her middle school friends along to the the demon mansion. <laughs> uh. So, it's a pair of legs. Man-eating plant. I don't want to fight this thing. I'm not fighting this thing. Uh, no, I don't want to... Prep kick. No. Are we we're able to run? We're fucking leaving. <sighs> Takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, a weird fiction writer, Hawado. Okay. Okay, we need to Not pay... body horror writer, just weird fiction. What is a weird fiction writer? Like Edgar Allan Poe? Maybe. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, the stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Nothing... Noting the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Do we study the symbols? Touch the stone or flee. Probably like study it, I guess. Right? That hasn't led us wrong so far. Hey, we found they, they. That seems familiar. Recognize some of them from a stone tablet we found at the museum. What's the connection? So in this universe, the mansion's just stone. Oh my god. Satoshi Kone is a strange fiction writer. <laughs> All right, so there's our grand uncle. Let's uh, go back to the corridor. So it's Hello, uh, Akane. Akane again. Shame your engagement fell through, bitch. So it's uh, 10 p.m. right now. Let's uh, go back to. Uh... So do we? Are so we, we did the ritual. Schedule? So do we? So we sit, did the ritual last time, and the body started moving. Do we not do it this time? And do we just? I mean, it, it didn't go great last time. We wound up with holes. And other bad shit happened. Yeah, let's Someone not. died. Let's not do it. Let's just explore some more. Let's not participate in the cult activity. Yeah. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old, rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and only has two doors, one of which you came through. Can't see the strange man anywhere. Leave through the other mm. door. Search the room. I guess we should search the room first. It's really nothing important here, but you think you might be able to find use of one item, so we gain an item. Maybe. Do we not? What we get? It's oh. not gonna tell us? Hold on, let's, uh, let's sell this for funds, and then I think we can access our inventory. We just sent Doi to go sell the knife and bring the money back. Yeah. Be right back! Uh... I like how Kana is still with us after losing an eye. I mean, this is the best, this is the, the most fun she's had in quite some time. She smiles faintly. <laughs> That's all she... Uh... Guess I can't access... I thought I could access my storage. Guess not. Well... Should we light the fireplace? Sure... 
That's part of the ritual, though. I don't know. What other options do we have? Just continue exploring the mansion, I guess. That sounds good. Sounds Probably good. Probably don't want to don't do no rituals. The round window of the crooked manor tower is calling you. <clears throat> Feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Do we fight the feeling or get lost in the light? Uh, probably should fight it, right? Charisma check, failure. Don't have the strength wow. to move a you must need a lot of charisma for that. Flying light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you toward the light. The temperature abruptly <laughs> drops as you shudder in the icy cold. Find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. Sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Do we move towards the pyramid? Check the icy coast or give up? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Let's go to the pyramid. The frozen guard corpse is standing on eternal guard duty. Find you worthy. Kindly shares your forbidden knowledge with you. Cool. We get a lot of experience. We gained frostbite. That's not good. We're not minus two strength. Yeah. So we can't. You. We can only use our spells at home. Yeah. Well, we can use our spells here. Uh oh. Body's missing. That's not good. Everybody's gone. You recognize the room from a newspaper photo. This is the hanged place. Yeah, I think I think we're locked into the same fucking same sequence. Yeah. At least we have friends this time. Yeah, we have friends to help us out. This looks like uh, one of the dusty previous tomes. Should we read? Don't have much time. Maybe you could spare some to look through the books. We gained a spell, but we lost some reason. Shit. Running low on that. Entering a dark room, you spot Huato and his wife hugging each other. When they turn around, you scream in terror. Their bodies are slowly becoming one, and they, 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 they fuse his faces, express the same thing: rage. Hold on, I gotta level up. Sorry. Don't mind me. Uh. Leadership, game. outdoorsmanship, uh, charisma, knowledge, or luck. I should get some knowledge. Yeah. And then, uh, we'll, uh, we'll increase our dexterity. Well, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you had to go through that, guys. What's a polish? Lower Eldritch enemy damage by one. Don't think that'll work. This, you don't think this is an Eldritch enemy? I don't think so, but I think we can... That doesn't even cost, uh... It costs two stamina, but... But not EXP. Together forever. Alright. Suck it! Oh, wait, hold on. Chance to hit 115%. How's that work? We're that good. One-shotted. Can she be the next spirit detective? She's pretty badass. Sudden growl coming up from behind the corner makes you stop. Oh, come on! Hello. Furumu ghost. Uh... Nope, we're oh. running. Yeah, we don't have our knife. Don't. Following a weak, wavering cry, you enter a dark room. Inside, you spot a figure hunched in the corner. It's the... Oh, it's, it's the, the, just the, again. Yeah, it's the old... Oh, it's Akane! <clears throat> well, she's not a ghost, right? I think she dealt. we dealt with her pretty easily last time. Yeah, but we had a knife before. We don't. We just have... We have a baseball bat. Wait, can I equip the baseball bat? Can I equip the knife here? I thought you sold the knife. Oh, yeah, we did... Shit. Uh, hmm. She's not a ghost, though. She's, like, physical, so you can just bash her with a bat, can't you? Yeah. But she'll deal damage to me. I'll lose stamina. Hardcore. Oh well. Can't spare more for running, so let's just do it. 
six. Okay, I can, I can win. <sighs> Fucking hell. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more till the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. We're here. An alien landscape. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, so we gotta sacrifice the guest and then we, or do we explore the? Hmm. Theoretically, well, last time the sacrifice worked out for us, but did yeah. did we lose reason from that? I think we did. Maybe. Let's. It's up to you, man. Let's. Sorry. Price is paid. Fortunately, we, we regained reason and stamina, and now we solved all five, uh... Solved all five. Now we just have to fight Cthulhu with six reason. Oh, there's rioting again! <laughs> Alright, I think... I think we're ready to, uh... Alright, you've solved all the mysteries, so now we gotta go to the lighthouse. Back to the town. Where's the town? There it is. Bring the statue. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can, can remember. remember. Fortunately, we have all five keys. Oh, is that what it is? You get a key from every mystery? Yeah, and then... Enter the lighthouse. Finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Gut is telling you two things, that whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, so you should run as far as you can. You're afraid there won't... Yeah. Oh, what's in storage? Broken bottle. Cool. That's a weapon. Yeah. Damage three. <laughs> yeah, speed up, but... Uh... It's probably not as good as the knife was. No. Well. So we can rest a bit. Can rest probably rest five times and two. That should be fine. Let's start climbing. I just want to let you know, guys. But no matter what happens, I love you. Following the winding. You can't live forever. You're a messy. <laughs> a thick black cloud is obscuring your vision, and you can swear something is waiting inside of it. Light your way. Light source seems to somehow repel the darkness, and you continue to climb the staircase. Hold on, Save. I gotta level up. Uh, occult signs, small EXP bonus for casting spells, luck, or extra funds. Sign contract. Well, that's not useful. Let's just increase our luck, and then we'll increase yeah. our dexter. This is just reinforcing the idea that pop idols have to be good at everything. Yeah. <laughs> Following, you are stop. Stop. Wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspapers, clippings, and pinned them here. The more you study them, you discover that you can't remember any of them except one. Uh oh. What was our second mystery? Uh. Okay. Uh. Where did we go? We did the first one. We did was hell. Yeah. After that, I think was the arms. Yeah, I think you're right. Correct answer! You rip the newspaper clipping of a case you seem to remember. Underneath it, a tiny button. You press, press it, it, and with a buzz, the gate opens. Cool. The light half. Climbing up the winding staircase, you are stopped by a big man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says. Taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personal, really. We have to fight Kuroshi! The ultimate opportunist. Takashi-san! We must. We're gonna beat the shit out of him. Come on! Takashi! Fuck you! We got him. Takashi's quest. Alright. Are we gonna make it? Conspirant delinquent girl. You're stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry. But I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for a bag. It's too late anyway. Uh-oh, she has a knife in her hand. Please! It's 
too late anyway. Oh, okay, we, we did it. That was good. It's yeah. the charisma. Following the you know, one. I was gonna kill the person who came up here. And then I realized you were my favorite pop idol. Go on ahead! Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside this. There's a switch inside. You'll have to risk getting cut. Let's do it! Hey, we, we we're dexterous enough! The buzz the gate opens. The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? This is like the finale of a Sailor Moon season. Yeah. Hey! We stop. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening the Eldritch Old God, but what's done is done. It will stir in his slumber again and again until the stars are right again. You are safe. For now. We did it! We stopped the evil one! Well, hopefully there's another pop idol ready to take a stand the next time it happens. <laughs> this, so, this is why we need pop idols. This is the for, my favorite pop idol. I mean, it, the cat, the captain of the swim team, she was like strong and she didn't do it. But this woman, she, I mean, she, she's, oh god, that's awesome that we were five. We had five percent left. If I... Oh, man. Yeah. Five more percent, and and it would have been awakened. Yeah. That's cool. All right. So that was... That was World of Horror. I like this game. I hope this game gets finished. This is still technically, apparently, only an alpha. Oh. This is yeah. like an early access thing. Yeah. Or beta. Pre-release beta and might not function as expected. If you encounter an error... So we should... We should... At some point, we gotta send, uh, I gotta send them, like, uh, things saying, Hey, there's some, uh, there's some typos, you should fix those. Yeah. Also, this game's got modding support, so. Yeah. So, yeah, you should. Put our input your own, uh, play as Doom Guy. <laughs> Doom Guy says rip and tear, what do you do? Alright, so, uh. You got the end screen? Yep, I do. Here it is. That's it for today. Uh, sorry, Jax and Jack and Daxter didn't work out, but uh, glad I had so this. You're gonna have to do some troubleshooting on on your end. I'll work on it. In the meantime, thank you for all for so much for uh, coming, and uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Adios.